Hello and welcome to Edupedia World. So right now we're inside uh, After Effects where we'll be doing some uh, green screen keying. So what I've got here is some footage of these two guys. I found it on the internet. Uh, I've got some footage of these two guys and they're standing in front of a green screen. So what we want to do is uh, we want to just sorry I want to just quickly uh, cut them out like this and uh, I'll just change the composition settings a little bit there we go now I've got this footage so what we want to do now is that we want to key these guys out so that we uh, can put something in the background instead of this green color. So how do we do that? Um, we want to use a plugin uh, that comes with After Effects and it's called Keylight. So type in Keylight and uh, with the layer selected we can just double click and it's going to be added. Um, so what Keylight can do is that it can go in and then pick this uh, green color and then it's going to make it transparent. So we want to choose our screen color and by default it's set to black. We can just choose this uh, little pick whip thing and uh, just click somewhere where there's a green color. And uh, I don't want to click near the edges. I actually want to click kind of close to the uh, to the skin because that's the most crucial parts. So I'll just click right here. And as you can see, it's already starting to work. So you can see here at where it says view, we are looking at the final result. Um, and that's basically where the green color has been removed. And if we click right here, you can see it has been made into uh, an alpha, like transparent. Um, but as we can see down here in the corner, there's still quite a lot of noise that we want to uh, try and eliminate. And also here around the edges, you can see there's some kind of weird highlight around them. And we also want to try and remove those. So we actually want to change the view that we are viewing. And uh, what I like to use is called screen mat. If you click that, you can see uh, the black areas, they are transparent, and the white areas, they're going to be uh, what we will see. Um, so in the perfect scenario, you want the green parts to be completely black, and then uh, like their body and their head and hair and stuff to be white, and then like where there's hair, you would like it to be kind of a gray but since these guys have have very very short hair it isn't going to be like that uh, half transparent area so let's go back to the screen mat and uh, let's try and adjust it so to adjust the screen mat we want to go under this tab called screen mat and uh, we can start changing these two values there clip black and the clip white they are going to be the most powerful so if we increase the clip black value you'll see that the black area starts to like the noise in the background just disappears because it's clipping the black so you can of course crank this up as much as you want but you're starting, starting to get some problems. So you want to increase it just enough. And uh, here around 22, the last bit of noise in the left corner disappears. And I'm actually quite happy with this. So I'll go back to the final result. And as you can see, if I turn this back to zero, the noise in the background just slowly disappears. But if I were to turn it up too high, and you can see that their face and their body is starting to uh, like uh, this, 
like uh, it takes some of the edges off. If you zoom in here, at the ear, you can see it's like starting to cut off his head and his ear. And we don't want that. I'll just put it to around 21 where we had it. And you can see it's just taking the right amount off. Um, if we look at the screen map, we can see that they are almost completely white in these areas, but there are some dark parts like here and up here. And uh, we want that to be completely white. So we can do that by changing the clip white value. So if you look here, there's these uh, darker parts. If we start to turn this down, it's going to be completely white. And for me, a value of around 90 should work pretty nicely. As you can see here on his arm, there were some darker parts as well. They are all completely gone now. So let's try and go back to the final result and uh, see what we've got. I'd like to just take a look at the source. Yeah, and yeah, something that I didn't understand was why there was a dark part right there, but that is explained uh, because there's some uh, little hole in this uh, shirt. So let's take a look at the final result right now. And it's actually looking pretty nicely. We have got some weird edges right here. And uh, let's try and resolve that problem now. So um, you can see we've got these uh, options over here. S uh, screen shrink grow. It's going to shrink. It's like changing how much it's eating off. And uh, we want to be very careful with this because this can uh, remove the parts we don't want, like this. She is, it's gone. But if you look at his head, it may have chopped off some of his hair. But I think it's actually doing a pretty nice job. So let's just keep it like that. Let's go and check on this guy. And I think it's looking quite nice. We can also increase the screen softness. That's just giving a slightly uh, softer edge because nothing is as hard as uh, this may seem. But if we increase it too much, as you'll see, it's going to give this weird halo. So we just want to increase it to something like one, and that's just going to give a little bit of softness. So I'll say that's about it for this, uh, uh, the keying part. Now we want to do something called spill suppression. So let's type in spill, advanced spill suppressor, drag it onto this video. What this does, if you just disable it, um, since they've, this has been shot in a green room, the, all the green colors, they're going to reflect onto their face. And you can actually see it in this guy. He has a quite a lot of green right here in his face. And uh, everything is just going to get a slightly green cast. Also right here, you can see on his watch, it's very green. And uh, you may not be able to see it, but this guy also have a, has a green cast in his face that gives him a unnatural color or a skin tone that's not natural. So that's what the spill suppressor is going to do. It's going to go in and it's going to remove uh, the green cast. So if we set it to ultra and uh, zoom in, maybe to this guy's face, but you're just going to have to play around with this color and pick the spill. You can see this is doing way too much. If we were to uh, maybe lower this a little bit, Try and pick this color. 
So you want the color that's like right in the transition. And as you can see, if we uh, increase this, you can really start to see that there's some green cast in his face because when I increase this, it's been removed and his, his uh, face turns more magenta or like red. Now oh, it's very green, now oh, it's very magenta. Let's just find somewhere in the middle where it looks natural, so around there. And uh, now I would say that these two guys have the right skin tones. You can see what it does, if you turn it on and off. The arm, the face, everything is very green. No, they're not. So, what can we do now? Uh, as you can see, we've got this nice alpha channel. And uh, this is basically means that we have got these two guys uh, cut out on each frame. And uh, what would you have done if you didn't have a green screen? Well, you've, you would have went in with a a mask and started uh, cutting them out, you know. And it was, it was taking a billion years. But with a green screen, you're able to do it extremely precisely in just a few seconds or minutes. So let's just try and add another background to this video. So I will go to my textures folder and uh, I've got this picture of a uh, inside a barn or something. And as you can see, I, I thought it would be pretty funny since they're standing there and smelling to themselves. I'll put them in a uh, staple. So let's add a curves adjustment to the to both layers. So we can try and match the colors, or I would say more the brightness. Go into the footage. Just match that, as, match that as nice as you can. And as you can see, they are perfectly keyed out. And uh, even when their hands are moving, it still looks nice. So this would probably have been more believable if uh, the background was a video as well. Um, but I think this looks quite all right. Um, when I chose this background image, I was very sure to make it or choose one that had the same perspective. So these two guys have been filmed uh, like directly in front. And therefore I wanted a picture that was taken like uh, at a 90 degree angle uh, from straight up or straight down. So it was directly in front. If I had something that was like in bird perspective or frog perspective, then it wouldn't really work. So I would say this is a, yeah, let's, let's try and do one more thing before we stop this. So I'll add a, a ramp. This was something that you could see on, uh, like on YouTube or something, where people would stand in front of this and talk. Like this. And as you can see now, they're in front of this cool background, and. Uh, if you knew how to do 3D and stuff, then you could uh, you could surely build a uh, like a studio around them to make it look like they were yeah, in some kind of a studio, even though they were not. So that's about it for how you can do green screen keying with uh, Keylight. Thank you for watching Edupedia World. Stay tuned for more videos.